Ladies and gentlemen, let's game to the com video. Let's discuss Microsoft's build conference, shall we? Where they were talking about their plans for the Universal Windows platform. So many of us have known that Microsoft are planning to unify the development of the desktop, the Xbox, the phone, and so on, and start consolidating them to make it a lot easier for developers. And we're going to know a heck of a lot more over the next couple of days, but Microsoft have answered a few questions on exactly what they're planning. And what it should mean is great things for anyone who is utilizing multiple uh, bits of hardware or software from Microsoft. So for example, uh, currently Microsoft have numerous APIs for the Windows platforms, the Xbox and the phone. But what they're planning to do after listening to a lot of customer feedback is they want to take the things that work for those particular platforms, nuke anything that doesn't, and then start expanding it but consolidating it into a universal API. Now, one of the examples that was given was, during the presentation, Windows 8.1 and the threading. <clears throat> now, currently, it's being handled by the WinRT thread pool, but there are some things that just don't work how a lot of developers would like. For example, it doesn't allow developers to utilize traditional Win32 uh, Win APIs, like, for example, Create Thread. I know I'm blasting through this a little quickly. Um, in case you're wondering if I'm going to be doing a breakdown of this stuff, I will be, but I'm waiting on a full conference, which they're going to be discussing this in much more detail uh, Friday, so I'll probably put that up on Saturday. So rather than doing a small analysis on a very small specific thing, I'd rather kind of cover it all at once. So if you're not too familiar with what any of this means, I will cover it in greater depth over the next couple of days. And I've also put an article together for today where you can go ahead and you can read about it a little bit more and you can do a little bit of Googling. And there's also a link to the conference and the discussion in the article as well, if you do want to go ahead and check it out. But anyway, moving on. So Microsoft's new policy is that they want any new APIs that are created, any at all, to be part of a universal application. So you won't have specific phone or Xbox One functionality or PC functionality. Now, this does lead to some subtle issues. For example, one um, scenario that was provided is, let's say you've got a scanner API and an Xbox. Microsoft have pointed out that the API is technically there and Technically, if a developer was to create an application that's going to ask for a scanner, ask, hey, could you identify any scanners that are on the system and then utilize those scanners um, to scan a document, the Xbox would behave very much like a PC. It would say, hey, no, actually, we don't have any scanners here. So it would behave exactly like a desktop would if it was asked to identify scanners, but there were no scanners plugged into the desktop. Hopefully, that made sense. This means developers will no longer have to write code for each devices. And that's a good thing, because developers will no longer have to write uh, if defs. In other words, if machine is x, do y. If machine is blah, do you know z. Instead, all of these things will be actually figured out during the application at runtime. So why are Microsoft doing this? That's probably what a lot of you are asking, like, what is the benefit? Well, we know that Microsoft have been wanting to do this for some time, and from a business point of view, it makes a great deal of sense. Now, obviously, they've got DirectX 12, which is becoming much and much and greater unified. We obviously know that uh, PC version of DirectX 12 is much lower level, and a lot of the functionality is going to be cross-functionality between the Xbox and the PC. So from a game point of view, game developer point of view, we're going to start seeing that come to fruition over the next couple of, well, couple of months. Let's probably say end of the year. Maybe even next year, we're going to really start seeing developers take advantage of this. But outside of that, from a business point of view, it makes a massive, great deal of sense because Microsoft aren't the only ones in the tech industry anymore. You've obviously got Apple who are pushing their own cross-platform technologies. And while there is a lot of excitement around DX12, and yes, my panties do get wet for it as well, it's not the only partner in the dance. You've got Vulcan, which has a massive, massive massive amount of support already from the industry 
and it's not just a few developers. You've got obviously Samsung, Intel, AMD, Nvidia. You've got game engine developers who are all extremely excited, but you've also got people who aren't really interested in the game space including but not limited to Lucas Films, Sony. Yes, I know Sony are technically in the game space before you say anything, but you know what I mean. Uh, you've got MediaTek, Oculus Rift. You've got other ones like Qualcomm, VMware. All of these are embracing Vulcan. My point being that some of these are for... Oh, and even Apple, by the way. And Apple, of course, having Apple embrace something is a pretty big thing my point being that this is quite a big deal because you've got valve with their various bits of technology obviously they're trying to push steam os a lot of developers want linux to become a thing obviously that's one of the reasons with the price point of windows 10 because microsoft want to keep you they want to keep you in the windows ecosystem and another reason behind all of this is because it would allow developers to put out an application, it doesn't matter what, let's just say a PDF viewer or, you know, uh, an image editing application or what have you. And theoretically, if you were to publish that on the Xbox and you would publish that on your phone and you would publish that on a tablet and you would publish that on the PC and a laptop, and I'm aware that PCs and laptops are pretty much the same thing, but you get my point. It would effectively be able to be able to put out very similarly and very similar code base. It wouldn't require the developers to relearn all of the coding or learn to code on different platforms. And from a customer point of view, it would mean a very similar working environment. In other words, if you've got some marketing expert who's learned how to use an application or someone who's not even particularly PC savvy or technology savvy, it would allow a very, very similar uh, user interface. It would allow a very similar experience. And that's very, very critical for Microsoft at the moment. Um, and I kind of like the idea, to be honest, is rather exciting. And I, I know I might have come a bit of brace, come across a little abrasive uh, when I'm saying some of that stuff, but I'm just pointing out that Microsoft they, they're smart. They, they, they know that they do have competition in the marketplace anymore. It's not like the late 90s or early 2000s. Um, and they, as a company, need to evolve. And I think they're doing it in a very, very smart way, to be totally honest. But anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. There will be a full breakdown. I'm aware that as well, for anyone who's not too familiar, I'm, I'm gathering most of you are, that Build is going on right now. And there's going to be a lot of stuff on DirectX 12, which I will be covering for the PC, the Xbox, and pretty much anything else under the sun. And of course, we'll be covering uh, pretty much anything else, actually, that's really pertinent to us over the next few days. Um, so, I, I want to say a few more bits and bobs, but... You know what? I'm gonna keep it on the keep it on the slide for now, and hopefully, I think you'll be really uh, happy about the content that's popping up. But for now, I'm gonna get going because I need to well record more stuff because there's been a lot of announcements today. But for now, take care and uh, have a fantastic day. If you can do the likey, the sharey, the commenty stuff, I would greatly appreciate it. Bye for now.